Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here with a Firewall Zero Hour news updates. As I'm sure you're all aware, we are currently in Operation Dark Web, Firewall's second season, and we are quickly approaching the halfway point in this season. And while we have been enjoying the newsroom map, Kane, the knife throwing Kiwi, and both the Z1 Reaper and the motion sensor, First Contact Entertainment have been busy working on our next set of content that will be arriving at the halfway point, which is September the 17th, aka next Tuesday. And today, the team have decided to officially spill the beans on everything we'll be seeing for the rest of Operation Dark Web, which will take us all the way to the 22nd of October. So let's jump right in. So first things first, First Contact Entertainment released a new video on their YouTube channel, which summarizes the content that's on the way. And I'll have that playing in the background now. But more interestingly is that Shabs also put up a community update on their website, which goes into a lot more detail. So I'll go through that piece by piece. And I'll also link it in the description if you want to check it out yourself. So let's just start with the new map, which is of course called Cargo. Now we've already seen a bit of Cargo in action during a development live stream but here we get a little more detail about the map it's described as being a dodgy crypto mining ship on international waters and we can expect the below deck areas to be full of tight corridors and the above deck areas to have unique cover points as always the map will be free to all firewall zero hour players bringing the current total number of maps up to an impressive 15. so next we learn more about the new us contractor and her name is proxy aka dana williams and i don't know if i'm imagining this but she looks really similar to emily blunt from the movie sicario i wonder if that was the inspiration for proxy kind of looks that way to me but anyway more importantly of course is that we also see her new skill which is called eagle eye and we get a description of how it works exactly because it does work slightly differently depending on if you're attacking or defending. So what Eagle Eye does is allow you to hack into an access point and gain access to the support feed, which is, you know, better known as the CCTV cameras that you see when you're dead. So this will allow you to scan around the map quickly for enemy locations. Now, as a defender, you can hack into any of the access points you find around the map. But as an attacker, while you can also use any access point you find, if you want to use one of the two access points that are active, you'll have to take down the firewall before you can use us. It's not a huge thing, but it's worth remembering. It's also worth mentioning that as you are using the support feed, your contractor will be very vulnerable. So Shabs here recommends that you use it efficiently. It might also pay to have a teammate guarding you while you use it. Proxy will be available to all dark web op pass holders. Her skill, Eagle Eye, will become available to everyone at the end of Operation Dark Web. So you can consider this a timed exclusive to those who have the op pass, similar to Ruby, Lynx, and Kane. I'd love to know what you lads and ladies think about Eagle Eye in the comments below. Does it have the potential? to be a game changer is it something you can see yourself equipping for every match personally i think it could be a big deal and it might be nice to have at least one squad member assigned as the eagle eye to feed intel earlier on in the match so that you know where the enemy will be coming from and maybe even have a sneak peek and see what kind of traps they might have set up ahead anyway that covers proxy so next up is the new smg called the sten which will be available to all for free as long as you complete the challenges to unlock us. Or you could of course just use a hack key if you want to get your hands on us immediately. Now the Sten is a pretty distinct looking weapon based on something that you'd find in the trenches of World War II. It has a side loaded magazine to give it that unique shape and apparently it will pack a punch at mid range which could be good but of course we need to see what kind of rate of fire it has as well as how hard it kicks and what kind of capacity that magazine can hold. So the Sten is very much a wait and see right now in terms of shaking up the meta. Now next up we have not one but two new pieces of equipment coming in this mid-season update. Now just to clarify something, in the video playing in the background here, these are labelled as lethals but that is a mistake I'm fairly certain. Both of these pieces of equipment are tactical, not lethal. So starting with the instant smoke grenade, which is going to be unlockable at level 5 for 3200 crypto, the instant smoke is fairly self-explanatory. You throw it, and as soon as it hits the surface, it creates an immediate cloud of smoke. I'm hoping it makes a more dense cloud than what the current smoke grenade does, and if it does, then it could be a very effective kind of shock and awe 
type item, particularly on attack. We're also going to be getting the Concussion Mine, and this is unlocked at level 7 for 4300 crypto. The Concussion Mine looks very promising. You can place it on many surfaces like you would with a regular mine, and once it's triggered by enemy proximity, it significantly reduces their movement speed and makes their vision distorted. Shabs recommends combining the Concussion Mine with a regular mine to make it so that the enemy is unable to run away from the explosion. The Concussion Mine looks like it could be a very useful tool if you're up against a team of rushers. They may now think twice with these bad boys on the map. I do have a couple of questions about the concussion mine though. How quickly does it detonate after being triggered and does it have an audio cue like the proximity mine does? Also if I shoot it will that trigger its effects sooner? And that's it for the equipment. Be sure to let me know in the comments what you think of these two new pieces coming Tuesday and if you think they'll affect the game in any big way. Anyway, Shabs goes over the Jag legendary skin for the Stalker, which of course you can only get by completing every single operation and paying 250,000 crypto. I'm not sure how many people are into that. I don't think I want to spend my crypto on us, and instead I kind of want to wait for a legendary skin on a gun that I actually use a lot, like the CQB or the HZU or EHG shotgun, or even something crazy like what about adding one for the Revive pistol? Even though that gun just cannot be customized in any way whatsoever, maybe it should be. You know, maybe Grimm's Legendary Revive Pistol or something like that. Seeing as most people actually use this, why not? Shabs also goes over the two new trinkets coming for free for PS Plus members. One of them is the Days Gone cross promotion one, and then the other one is the Little Jag one. Shabs then ends the post with promises of even more to come in the future for Firewall Zero Hour. And so that's it. There's a lot to look forward to in the mid-season update, I think. So do let me know in the comments your thoughts on all these additions. That's it for this video, lads and ladies. But before I go, let me give a huge thanks to my Patreon supporters, whose names are up on the screen right now. Thanks to these people, I've been getting new microphone, green screens, a camera, and we're working towards even more equipment to make the content on this channel as good as I can. I would like to give a special shout out to these guys too. Columbus Thomas III, Peace Hawkins and Crumb. These guys are supporting me on the top $10 tier over on Patreon and I have to thank them for that generosity so thank you very much lads. If you want to join my Patreon too then the link will be in the description below but if you don't want to spend any money you can still help me out the old-fashioned way with the likes and the subs and the sharing and all that usual shite. I'll see you in the next one so bye for now.